Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa. And I'm Jamie. Ah, gotcha. No, I'm Gordy. Jamie's dead. And this is That's Crazy, Crazy Talk. Talk. And today, my co-star is my husband because he's we got a man unboxing. Yay! Which is Grill Masters Club. I got it for him for Valentine's Day. I just didn't cancel the subscription because we liked it so much. So we're gonna do an unboxing today with it. It doesn't come with a whole lot, so this is not gonna be a very long video, but we wanted you to see what it was and whether it would be a good addition to one of your boxes. So when you open it up, it comes with a nice little paper in here with some recipes. It's a recipe card. It gives you recipes for the things that are inside of the box. So some ideas you can make uh, like Fat Boys Caliente Mole Sauce, Grilled Potato Skins, um, all kinds of really delicious ideas here. You can even buy some of their apparel on the back. Your barbecue t-shirt for when you're outside barbecuing. Each box comes with a recipe card. It's kind of cool so you can save them. Does it have like an apron? Because I would like to see you in apron <laughs> no nope. like little frilly one no no apron but you can buy your own little frilly apron Kiss the from cook. Uh, walmart if you want there you go walmart that's a plug all right so the first thing i see when i open this box up is a bag of smoking chips this is mesquite i did have one that came with the other one i think it's sweet yeah it was a sweet like a uh, cedar i think um, it. Let me see what it smells like. so that smells just like mesquite wood mm -hmm. Um, in case you're unsure how you do that, even with a gas grill, it works really good with a, a fire grill or a charcoal grill because you can mix it in with your charcoal and it makes a nice smoky wood flavor. But you can also use it with a gas grill, which is what I use, and you can buy a little cup that sits in the back of the grill and it smokes the wood for you. So you get a nice, delicious, smoky flavor. I don't know if you're like me, but I hate the fake smoke flavor that you can put in food and just think it tastes good gross and nasty but i love real smoke flavor and hardwoods like mesquite really make a great smoke so i'm kind of looking forward to using that uh, i think it's going to taste really delicious all right so i see a couple more items in the box here we'll start with the sauce this is a fat boy hogwash a no high fructose corn syrup natural and gluten free it says on the back be cool follow us on social media be happier than a pig in sauce serve direct as a condiment or coat with grilled meat for the last few minutes of cooking sauce will caramelize on the meat it says it's good for beef chicken pork and fish because we eat so, a lot of fish around here yeah no fish for me i'm a fish free guy probably open it and take a little taste for you guys how about that okay see what it tastes like because i love Do you want some scissors sauce. Oh, i got it oh you are quicker than scissors so i'm gonna shake it, it says shake well Oh, at first smell, it smells really good. It's a sweet barbecue, I can tell. Me, I kind of like the, the sweet, but Carolina style with a little tang and spicy. I'm going to take the cat. That's very good. It's got a very wow. um, honey, it's like a honey barbecue. Yeah, it's very it's got, sweet, but so good. Yeah, very, very tasty. Very brown I sugar. I recommend that. I'm going to look forward to that. I'm going to make some... Uh, um, grilled chicken breast on my grill and use this I think is what I'll use this for mm. and try that out but that sounds really good that was very tasty we're working on our pool in the backyard so hopefully we'll have a barbecue soon maybe we'll take a little video of the barbecue with all the neighbors and friends and everybody over while we're using it and show you guys other people's reaction to it the next thing I found in here is a dry rub I really enjoy dry rubs because you can use them on everything I use them on burgers you can use them steak chicken whatever you want um, but dry rubs are always always good they're less messy to me I think they tend to have much more flavor in there this dry rub is called coarse spice blackened ops black is this the key there it says if if the smoke alarm announces dinner before you do you know the joy of blackened cooking seafood steak poultry and pork will all taste better on your fork with a little blackened ops action it says it complements all meats in fact i'm going to probably use this one tonight because i'm going to make some t-bone steaks on the grill tonight <laughs> yeah <laughs> Get jealous, I know you are. Black and steak is one of my favorites. I'm gonna open this and try to smell it. Here, see what it smells. Yeah, it does have a little seal on it, but I'm gonna this I'm going to most likely use tonight. It's got a very dark, rich red flavor. That's probably cayenne pepper in there. Definitely got some cayenne pepper in there. Oh, that's kicking pretty good. 
it's got some pretty decent heat in Ooh, there. You can definitely taste the cayenne. Don't put a lot cayenne. of it on mine. Like, it's good, but I don't want a lot of it. You can definitely taste the cayenne. <gasps> Typical uh, uh, wow. blackened flavors. Don't put that back up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a nice little after kick. She's probably burning right now. That's kind of funny. And the last thing in the box is a another rub, which, again, I love because I can use them on burgers. I can use them on everything. <coughs> Thing, a quick little shake on top of a burger and it's great this is a caliente rub so that sounds really good it's got a nasty looking pepper right on the front so uh anytime it's hot it's for me uh hotter the better my tongue is uh, burning if you want to challenge me on a on a hot sauce if you have a particular hot sauce that you think is is really good um comment below i'll go ahead and purchase it and i'll try and i'll let you know i definitely like Hotter the better. This one says, some like it hot, and our caliente rub is just for those folks. Get some meat, get some heat on your meat. <laughs> I like that. With this blend of chilies and spices that adds the flavor you want with the heat you need, we recommend having a cold one ready just in case you need it. Who doesn't need a cold one, huh? Right? And, and we got a new refrigerator. Just got a new fridge for outside by the barbecue grill, so I'm setting that stuff up today. Then I'm going to use the grill today. Maybe and so this also here. says it is good on uh, beef, chicken, pork, fish, and vegetables. That's a good idea to spice up your vegetables a little bit. I'm going to give this a taste. I don't know if I can taste much because that blackened season has really got my tongue going right now. But Mine is burning. Definitely a little spicy. I think that, a lot. that blackened season, but it was very tasty. The taste is good. This looks delicious. It's very coarse. The blackened season was a little uh, powdery. Grind, grinded. Real up. ground up. This is very coarse, which tells me that it's going to have leave a lot of good flavors on my stuff i'm going to shake it up a little bit so i can see everything in there it's got a nice rich dark red cayenne pepper in there it looks really delicious smells really good Ooh, it's it definitely going to be hot that ooh, that mass water oh that is delicious actually that might even be better on our steaks. That's it's really definitely tasty. saltier. Yeah, it's got a, a salty flavor. It's got a little more garlic in it. Really that, I like tasty, that one a little though. bit better. The other one was super delish, but uh, I think a little too spicy for me. So it's going to be hard to determine which one of these is going on our steaks tonight. Usually I'm a Montreal steak season guy, but... I'm gonna try one of these out with a little bit of heat. And I think this Fat Boy Caliente rub really has a good taste. Very delicious. Next time we do a video with one of these unboxings, I will let you know how it was. I think that's the the winner for the night. The Caliente rub, it really tasted good, and that's gonna go on our um, T-bone steaks for the night. And maybe I'll put a little on the potato, little of the blackened ops on my potato. Try them both that way. That's what came in there. Some wonderful smoking wood chips, a couple seasons, and barbecue sauce. Very similar to the box we got last time. It came with two sauces in one rub and some smoking chips. If you like to change your flavors around a little bit and you like to grill, the sauce we got last time was a like a mango teriyaki uh, sauce. Uh, I think it'll be best for chicken. I haven't used it that yet, rub but it'll was, be best That for rub looked pretty good, too. Yeah, we got some delicious rubs. So, it was very sweet, though. Uh, so far, I think that this Grillmaster's Club box is really worth it. I think it's... I um, believe it was... $27.99? Yeah, well worth it. Uh, you're going to spend that much plus on just for these sauces and some of these, a lot of these sauces you can't get at your local grocery store. You'll have to order them online, so they're kind of specialty items. Just the smoking chips alone, these these really add a lot of flavor. If you're not used to smoking chips in your, in your grill, give it a try. Look it up. Check it out. Really adds a tremendous amount of flavor to your food so i hope you guys like it i hope you like the video i hope you this rub is the caliente rub is really tasty i mean i, I can still taste it in my mouth it's I can really only, I good can, i can still just taste that first one I'm looking forward to putting those on my on my steaks putting some heat on my meat if you got something with hot sauce you want me to try it i got some peanuts with uh ghost pepper season on them oh my god <laughs> they're so hot i can only eat about five or six of flames coming out of my mouth yeah. They are delicious. Give it a shot and tell me what you think. Make sure you leave a comment below and um, smash, the like, smash button. that like button. And subscribe.